guys, we're here today to talk about our routines. So let's start with the cleanser. This is like my 10th bottle of this. This is Be Plain Green Full pH Balanced Cleansing Foam. If you want something that's non-irritating and very gentle, this is really good. It's green. It has a little bit of green. It doesn't have any smell either. So you don't have to worry about any scent at all of them. And I'm like, oh, I need a new cleanser. And I just looked at Picky Match and this one came up and I'm like, okay, I'll buy it. And it's been love ever since. Love at first pick. That's gross, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I've been using this Revectin Skin Essentials Cleanser. It's actually pretty hydrating, which is nice. Even though I have like oily skin, it's nice to not feel like my skin is about to rip in half when I smile. It's good for people with sensitive skin as well, so. <laughs> it says respecting the skin barrier. Respect. <laughs> it meets a skin barrier and it goes, my bad, my bad. And it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's better than fighting it. Fair. <laughs> Remember the last video we did about the toners, and I like the one that has the smell. Let me smell this. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. This is the same one. So this is the toner from our last video. I really like it. I like the smell, and it feels just very soothing on my skin. I may or may not have copied you in the sense of stealing from the toner video. I may or may not have pocketed it. <laughs> I didn't steal. <laughs> they keep cool and soothe toner. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It's just like clean in my opinion, light on my skin. And I definitely don't really like heavy stuff, especially cause oily. And it's just like gross to kind of go out and be like, I have six layers of something on my skin. So yeah. My serum, it's Vita B3 Source by TM. I'm a bit scared of like adding new serums, new products to my routine. Fair. But this one was like a really beneficial one because it has 10% like niacinamide and my dark spots kind of lighten up from it. And it's not sticky at all because I hate sticky serums. Mm. It did what it said it would do. I just started using this Centella Skin 1004 Ampoule because we had that huge giveaway. Yeah. It was like a thousand. That, even more, I don't even remember. It was a lot. lots of people. So I had to see what the hype was about. It's super lightweight, it's really nice, especially because skincare is like multiple layers. For me, each layer, I want it to be really thin, very lightweight. I don't want to feel like I've put five layers of stuff on my face. That's really, really light. Oh, you know what's funny? When I first saw this brand, I thought it was Skin 1004. I would always say that. Wait, isn't 1004? It is, yeah. Because... Chonsa. Skin Angel. Yeah, that's what I thought. Eye cream time. I have one because I'm older. I noticed that under here it gets very dry, so I like to put this one on. It's Cosrx Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. I like it because it's not sticky. Do you want to try some? Yeah. So if you put it here, it's kind of similar to the skin under here. It's like very delicate and fragile. <laughs> Yeah. It feels really soft. I feel like that's a dumb way to describe it. That's why I like it, because it's not super thick. There's some eye creams that are like thicky, so I don't want. <laughs> I say it one time! <laughs> it's a catchphrase now. I don't use eye cream. I tried, okay, I tried, and then I got... Milia. Yes, and I was like, hmm, maybe this is not the one for me. Moisturizer the time. This one is like the hardest one to find like, the holy grail for. For me, too light and my skin feels tight or it's too heavy and my skin just feels like greasy. I feel. I need that perfect in between. So this one, I do really like in the summer. It's the I Unique Centella Calming Gel Cream. When the season changes and gets colder, my skin feels a bit tight. It's not really hydrating enough. So then in those dry spots, I use Toriden Dive-In Cream. I like this one. I can tell that it has more body to it. And so I just put it on those spots and it helps it not feel maybe as tight. Even though you said it's like a little heavier. It's still pretty light. It's still like a gelish lotion I think is closest to it. I kind of have something similar to yours, but it's in one because I am more efficient. A lazy, but I appreciate it. It's the Axis Y Sarah Hart My Type Duo Cream. It's like two in one. Aren't you worried about it mixing them? I don't want the product to get in the other side. I am a disgusting human being and I have long nails. Do you use your nails? I go like this. Yeah, I'm gross. Don't listen to that. That's not good advice. <laughs> Sorry kids. That's nice, right? It spreads a lot. You don't need a lot with that one. Yeah, yeah, little goes a long way. I'll use the lighter one during like the day or like in the summer when it's super hot. The thicker one is like nighttime. It has a pleasant smell. Yeah. I'm surprised you like it because usually you don't like I don't 
don't love smells, but sometimes there's an exception here or there. So it has ceramide for the thicker one. It makes sense why it's a little bit thicker. And then Hartley for the T-zone. Note to self, you better hide that. Next one is sunscreen. So for me, I also like the Be Plain one. It's a clean ocean moisture sunscreen. For me, I need sunscreen that is lighter, but not like the milk one. I can't feel it. Like it definitely absorbed very quickly. Yeah. It kind of sinks in really well, so there's no white cast. Yeah, for and sure. There's no stickiness at all, which I love. So fun fact is they reformulated it and it is coral reef safe and very environmentally friendly. And that makes me like it even more. But the only thing I have is it's so small. I want a bigger one. <laughs> Be plain, please send us some for free. We will love you send forever. Us like a hefty one, please. It's not sponsored by anyone. If anybody's interested, hit us up at uh, plus one. Oh five. That's my phone number. So for my sunscreen, I use Isntree SPF 50 because it's bright out. That's all I really gotta say. It has hyaluronic acid in it. I used this one before and I did, I really did like it because it's very light. So for B plane, it sinks in very, very fast. I don't even know it's there anymore, but with the Isntree one, I can like feel the shield, but in a good way. There's almost a hint of a possible white cast, but it's like not anything noticeable really. I really enjoy it. Masks. For mine, I picked the Axis Y Mugwort Pore Clarifying Wash Off Mask. It does have a smell. For me, it doesn't make my skin feel tight or dry. It really makes my skin feel smooth afterwards and I just feel reborn. It makes my pores feel very clean. It has like these little seeds in it. One day you're just gonna... <laughs> I've already done it. Can you smell it? Well, now I'm afraid. <laughs> It has kind of like a sort of like tiger balm. I'm just coming up with all these like obscure Asian references. I apologize. <laughs> Menthol. Oh. It's not nearly as strong. And it's vegan. I just saw it vegan. I put it on for like 15 minutes and then wash it off. This is gonna sound so hypocritical because I'm like, I don't like the way it smells. Or like, I don't like smells. This Jumiso All Day Vitamin Nourishing and Recharging Wash Off Mask it does kind of smell like orange candy, but I kind of don't mind it. I'll just sit in it, like not sit in it, but I'll put it on my face and just keep smelling it. It sounds like you just have like a <laughs> yeah. huge tub and I, you're just like. That's, I really look hot. My body would be very soft. It is very like hydrating and brightening effects with the mm -hmm. vitamin C and everything like that. I feel like you can tell from my routine, I'm very about out, evening out the skin tone. I do get acne scars very easily. Having products that kind of help it go away is kind of my goal. My uh, skin is very sensitive, so sometimes it reacts really strongly to stuff. And I also get some redness, so that's why all of my stuff is quite sensitive, skin friendly. Well, I brought a little honorary mention. It's the Hue Calm Birch Hydrating Mask. It has birch sap in it. This is just down. It's very hydrating and very moisturizing. There's no way for me to like really describe it. I apologize. The serum is kind of like a jelly kind of. When I take it off, it's not heavy or anything like that, even though it says intensely hydrating. I don't know, sometimes when I see that, I'm like, oh God, yeah. 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 The products we use are quite different. Mm -hmm. So it just shows that like everyone's skin is very unique and very different. Everyone has their own skincare journey. Just because these work for us doesn't mean it's gonna work for everybody. Always read reviews about things. Patch test before you put it on your <laughs> face. Also, pro tip, don't use a new product right before you have like a special occasion. You don't know how you're gonna react to it. I learned that the hard way. This was us talking about our routines. Kind of curious to see the falls coming up if the routines will change at all. Leave a comment down below. Let us know what your routine is. We would love to read about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notifications so you know when we'll post next, and we'll see you next time.